Have you been thinking about moving into the city of Sandy Springs, Georgia? Stay tuned to find out more about the pros and cons of this great city. Hello everybody, this is Gamalier Sturgis Broker Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group. And I'm Alan Rios, I'm the Realtor with Sturgis Realty Group. Thank you for watching and remember if you find value in our videos, please click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget every Thursday we'll be releasing a new video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. All right, so today we are in Sandy Springs and we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of living in this great city, Gamalier. Yeah, definitely, this is a great city and obviously there's a lot of great things but some of the things also we want to point out about the city so let's start with the top three yeah well so we'll start with the top three pros and one of that really stands out gamalier has to be the location oh great wow. location ideal pretty much close to everything we're only yep. 20 minutes from downtown atlanta we're roughly pretty much surrounded by a lot of close cities in here that you yeah, can in go the middle to. of everything and only 25 minutes from the main airport so if you like you need to travel a lot definitely you can live here in sandy spring but also one thing is you have the train also here in the city yeah you got martyr station located right here in sandy Springs, so you can take that right into downtown atlanta if you don't want to drive in if you want to avoid the traffic perfect place to just park your car get dropped off there and head to the city you can go to buckhead too do some shopping right? yeah and all the way if you need to travel go to the airport you yeah, can actually park your true. car in the train station and take the train all the way down south to the airport too and you also have easy access to georgia 400 and also i-285 which is the perimeter right we're yes. located right on the perimeter here of northern georgia very very accessible definitely sunday spring gets you close to all the main cities around downtown and obviously we have the 285 loops that goes around so you could jump in in 285 pretty easy or exactly. take you down north or south of 400. all right so number two boy this is a relatively easy one right it really stands <laughs> out when you think of sandy springs shopping and dining right oh definitely you go down roswell road what do you see oh you see a lot a lot of great restaurants that's right excellent food but also, obviously, uh, you, the shopping here is amazing too. So run about a lot of malls in the area, like Pyramid Mall, where you yep. can go there. There are some great stores there also. Yeah, and if you want to travel down to Buckhead, not too far away, just minutes away, you got Lenox Square Mall, and you also have Phipps Plaza. And those are some of the top malls in the state of Georgia, or even in the Southeast Gambler, when you think about it. Oh yeah, if you're going to go to Lenox Mall, obviously we're talking about some of the higher end brand like Prada, Fendi, Louis Vuitton. Uh, Louis Vuitton, definitely. Uh, if you want a nice gift or that special one, definitely she will be very happy. That's going to be a very special <laughs> one from that place, right? <laughs> yes. And you may also see some celebrities too. You hear that all the time when people go down to Buckhead, especially Lenox Plaza and uh, Phipps Plaza. Definitely. All right, number three, the parks and green space. And Gamalier, we're in one of the parks and green spaces right now, right? Yeah, definitely the Morgan Fall Overlook Park here in Sandy Spring, where we're standing here. Amazing place. It is. Uh, as Gamalier mentioned, over 30 acres. They've got a playground that's located right in front of us. They actually have a large fire pit behind us here on those cool nights. And what really stands out when we walked into the park, Gamalier, was the porch swings overlooking the Chattahoochee River. Yeah, what a beautiful oh, view. Oh, it's beautiful. And you also have the kids' play area, which actually is covered. So you stay away from that sunny, hot summer days in August. You get the kids to play here. They also have an area where you could grill. Uh, they also have a rental place here where you can actually rent a canoe for the day. Yeah, kayaking, kayaking. paddle boarding. I never paddle board before. I'd like to try that sometime. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So that's just one of the parks. They actually have a total of 16 parks that encompasses 950 acres. So the, that's a lot of park space and green space here in Sandy Springs. A lot of outdoor living. So if you're one of those persons that enjoy the outdoor, definitely Sandy Springs will give you all that and more. Yeah, put that on your list. All right, let's switch gears now. We're going from the top three pros to the top three cons. Dun, dun, dun. And I should say number one is definitely the traffic and congestion in the area. Well, when you choose a premier location like Sandy Springs, right? It is the seventh largest city in Georgia. You know, there's a lot of people that's condensed in here. You're going to deal with traffic, especially if you're going to work during the morning and afternoon rush. Definitely. And obviously, because of the location, like you mentioned, 
you're in the middle of all the action of, of, of a 285, 400. So you're gonna get that traffic, but mainly the traffic is in the peak time, you know, anywhere between seven to nine in the morning, and anywhere between three and five is when you see the most congestion in the area. But in the weekend, uh, you know, it's not as bad as, you know, during the peak hours. Yeah, and if you work downtown, you know, you had that option of taking Marta too, to get to work. So that's another great option. And then also there's a lot of great companies that are located right here in Sandy Springs. So you may not have to commute that far at all. That's true, if you're living here, a lot of great companies local to the area, like yeah. UPS is one of them, obviously. Yep. Mercedes-Benz corporate office yeah. in the United States is located here in Sandy Springs. And Cost Communication is located headquarters here also. Yeah, that's just one of the several of the few companies that are here in uh, Metro Atlanta or in Sandy Springs. Uh, let's switch now over to affordability. That's number two when it comes to one of the cons here in Sandy Springs, Gamalia, and the affordability of single family homes. We wanna make that clear. Yes. Single families here, obviously, uh, average price in the upper 700s, so definitely you have to have a little deeper pockets to be able to afford that type of house here. And we're not talking about a brand new home. No, we're it's a resale. About, this yeah. is a resale property. Yeah. Most homes here were built in the, look, in the 70s, 80s time. So those are the type of prices we're talking about. Obviously, if you're stepping into a more modern home, newer home, you're stepping in the million dollars properties here. But one thing about the condos here, yeah, townhouses. so if you're looking for, you know, to move into a condo or a townhome, well, you may be fortunate enough here because uh, when you look at the prices here, you can start out in the low to mid 200s, right? All the way yes. up to 1 million plus, 1.2 million. And that's what we've seen so far on the market right now. Uh, so the price range is a little bit on the lower end. So that's a condo or a townhome. So the affordability factor there is a little bit better than when you purchase a single family home. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of options here in Sandy Spring when it talks about getting a condo and townhouse compared to all the cities around Metro Atlanta. You, get, you actually get a lot for your money when it comes to condos here. There's a lot to pick from. Yep. And they're affordable too compared to the, what everything you get in this great city. Yeah, and they have a lot of gated communities too. So, yes. you know, it's a, it's a great uh, environment that you're in. They have pools and so many different types of amenities that kind of go along with that. All right, number three. Is it another expense, Gamalier? It's definitely had to be taxes. Yes. Real estate taxes and sale price taxes. Too. Yeah, and unfortunately Fulton County does have one of the highest taxes in Metro Atlanta. So that's something you would have to consider if you're looking to buy property here, your property taxes are gonna be higher. As Gamalier mentioned, sales taxes are gonna be a little bit higher. So you mm -hmm. definitely have to consider that as a factor when it comes to purchasing a home or even just living here in Sandy Springs. Yeah, definitely. The taxes are a little higher like you mentioned, but you do get a lot for your money here, yeah. I have to say. That's it. I mean, they do provide you a lot here in Sandy Springs. So everything is right at your fingertips, just outside your doorstep. As we mentioned, there's a lot of events, just a lot of parks, a lot of shopping, a lot of dining. So, you know, you pay for what you get. Yeah, and we also have another video that talks about living in Sandy Springs, things to do and everything. So check out that video. Uh, and also, if you're looking to buy a home, sell a home, or invest in property, that's what we do. Anywhere here, like a beautiful city like a Sandy Spring here, or anywhere in Metro Atlanta. Give us a call. We're easy to access with you. Whether you could call us, text us, or email us. And also, we do conference calls for people that live out of state or yeah. in another country also. We love we, to take your calls. Yeah, we've done Zoom calls with people out of state as well. So that's not an issue whatsoever. All right, hopefully that helped you out a little bit there. Top three pros and cons of Sandy Springs. Thank you for watching and remember to click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.